Hey everybody, how's it going? Thanks for watching Manny Scale Modeling Podcast with special guest Mike from Scale Model Outlaw. And uh I'm sure you guys know him. Uh we're gonna talk about models and stuff for a little bit here and uh call it a day, I guess. So here's Mike. How's it going, Mike? Hey, hey everybody, Manny, I got a new introduction for you. For those that have been watching my videos, I got one for you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages. Welcome to Manny's podcast. You know what I should have did? I should have had you do that before, and we could have played it before the video started. That would have been cool. We can do that. Whatever you want to do, man. It's good. <laughs> Happy to be here, man. Thanks for having me on. We appreciate it. Uh, looking forward to awesome. it. Uh, I know we've been we've been chasing this idea for a minute or two, and we'll finally get together. Yeah. It's, it's awesome, man. Yeah, I've got uh, quite a list of people to have on for uh, podcasts, and it's more of a matter of trying to figure out time exactly. you know time yeah, when i can schedule. time when everybody else can yeah the schedules yeah right. but we will get them in so if you're interested in coming on the podcast uh send me an email which is on the website mannyscalemodeling.com and uh we'll get something set up so uh mm -hmm. so the first thing i want to talk about before we kind of like really begin or whatever is oh you know what actually um Guys, we're going to take a break real quick, and uh, can't forget this for Mike, so we'll be right back. Oh, and that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate that. No, that's cool. Love my sponsors, man. They take care of me and my, my viewers, so I, I try to get them out there as much as I can. So thank you for that one. That was funny. You're welcome. <laughs> Weren't people giving you crap about that? Yeah. I, and yeah, and I get so. where they're coming from, you know, when you go on the lives. <laughs> and I'm not mad at them. I get it. Um, oh, yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's not an advertisement platform, and, and I was... I was pushing I was pushing the product. I, I love my sponsors and and like I said, you know, there's um there was a little bit of confusion. It's not like I get a kickback from the sponsors. Uh right. basically what they offered me is a 10% discount to my viewers. So I want to get it out there to everybody so they can save 10%. Yep, but, yep. Uh, same thing I same thing I do with mine. I mean it, yeah. you know. Uh so the first thing I wanted to talk to you about was uh how's your bike build going? My bike build is coming along, uh, as you know, Manny. Maybe the, if anybody's been watching the videos, I'm trying something new that I have never done before, which is the hydro dipping. Yeah. Um, I won't say I'm having difficulties with it because the product's really good, everything's really good with it. But it's one of those things that uh, you know you don't you don't go from crawling to to ride, riding a bicycle all in one step. And same way with this, it's a little something that takes a little bit of practice. And uh, but I'm very happy with the way it's coming along. Uh, I wished it was coming along a little more, but I've been taking a break from it lately because uh, I honestly, because I got wrapped up in this 54 Hudson that I'm working on. I got excited about yeah. it. So uh, luckily uh, Cliff, you know, we're building that for the GI mechanics uh, bike build and group build. And fortunately there's no timeline on that per se. So I can push it aside for a little while. Right. Yeah. You know, let it sit for a minute and then come back to it. Yeah. And it was funny because we were just in there into the life clips live chat yeah. <laughs> and uh cliff said something about you know coming on you know on the video and i was like oh, i gotta get out of here soon anyway and i didn't say well for i think i said i got a podcast to do but i didn't say who or anything so there you go cliff that's why i had to leave because bike on. so <laughs> i was gonna say they may have figured it out because as soon as you posted up hey you gotta go do the podcast and i said same i'll be I back saw that. later <laughs> <laughs> i saw that yeah yeah. yeah, maybe somebody will figure that out. But it's not like we're sneaking off and going behind the barn yeah. smoking a cigarette. You know, we're, yeah. we're putting it out here for everybody to see. Yeah. Uh, it's so, awesome. It's awesome. So your bike build, uh, you've got a lot done on there. Yeah. I've, uh, I, uh, that bike, I mean, to rewind just a little bit, uh, I haven't built a motorcycle, you know, scale motorcycle since late 70s, early 80s when the uh, Fonzarelli motorcycle, the Triumph, was popular. Yeah. So for this one, <laughs> it's been that long, yeah. right? Yes, and I'm that yeah. old. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. so for this one, uh, it's the um, GSX, not GSXR. What is this thing? It's the YZRM1 <laughs> from Tamiya, and yep. uh, so I didn't know anything about it. So I'm, I, 
what I really like about it, I guess is what I'm getting at, is I had to to put everything together with, you know, like your school glue, your clear glue, your Elmer's glue or whatever, and see how it fits and how it looks and what it's going to look like put together, then blow it all apart and paint it right. and put it back together. So it was cool for me uh, to get back basically to the roots. I'm going to follow direction step by step. Uh, you, Manny, you know this, and I'm sure many of your uh, listeners and viewers do. We build enough of these cars. You almost don't need the directions. Like those kind of go over your shoulder whenever you open the box, and then you just you know you know what you're doing. With yeah. the bike, I was completely clueless, so it was uh, it was good to get back to the roots. I'll just I'll just tell you something real quick. Did you see the video on my uh, the final reveal on my Roadrunner? I I watched some of the videos on the Roadrunner. I can't swear that I saw the final, but I think I did. I tried okay. To so as far as directions go. <laughs> I should probably look at them because <laughs> I've had a couple people email me and one on Facebook, uh, Manny, you got the shifter on backwards and backwards. So yeah, most of the time I read through the directions now. So, well, I can't say nothing. You know, that, uh, the pacer that I've been building kind of on and off. It's yeah, to yeah. the box below me. Now I just so customized. I got the old school, uh, wooden handled, uh, Chrysler shifter, you know, that old pistol grip one that they had back in the kudos yeah. and all them back in the day. I got one of those, yeah. a 3D printed version of one of those, and I uh, put it on the interior and I built that custom roll cage out of uh, pig wire and all that and had it laid in there. And I was super proud of myself. And I'm taking pictures of it, posting it up on Facebook. And guy called it, messaged me and is like, hey, that looks really good, but you do know that shifter's on backwards. <laughs> and as soon as I looked at it, I'm like, Yep. <laughs> now I'm down there with yeah. my hobby knife, prying it back off, flipping it around yeah. to get it right. So I, I'm right there with you. You're not rowing that boat alone. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to uh, attempt to take my Roadrunner part to fix that or not, or I just might just leave it. I don't know, but yeah. now it kind of bothers me that it's backwards. <laughs> you know. I ran, into, ran into something like that on the Volkswagen build, too, and it was like <laughs> I spotted it after the fact, after the whole thing was put together, and I'm like, I'm not taking it apart to fix that. No, it'll just have to yeah. be what it is. Yeah. It, yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's crazy, but <laughs> the bike, the instructions on the bike, it's it just, it's wow. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's crazy. It, it is. It is the same way with mine. It, um, again, it has a lot to do with not being familiar with it. Right. I mean, I own yeah. a bike, but I own a Harley. Yeah, me too. And I, yeah. Me and too. I, I literally, I don't work on mine. I don't even change the oil on mine. I, I'm a mechanic by trade. But I want to take, you know, it's a two-wheel rocket, right? So if you, I take mine to get the oil changed at the guy that works on them all day long. So he can yeah. call me up and say, hey, I'm seeing some wear here. or I'm seeing some of this or that. Yeah. Could I change the oil? Probably. But I'm, I don't know what to look at as far as everything else. And that's why it pays to have somebody that knows what they're doing. Yeah, I that. don't, I don't, uh, I don't do any of the work myself on my bike. Everything's done at the shop. I just, I yeah. don't. I'm not a mechanic, so you know, I even as simple Jeeps. as oil. Yeah, yeah you, I work. Well, on, yeah. I work on Jeeps yeah. and four wheel drives. I can help you out with those, but the motorcycle goes to the shop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so you've let's see the build I wanted to talk about too was the uh, the Beetle. Yes, yes. Do you have that to show right now? Yep, I sure do. Hang on, just a second. I'm sure. I'm sure we pretty much both have kind of about the same viewers, so might not. So some might want to see it. The Beetle is my like my most recent kind of complete. I haven't finished it, finished it. I still gotta polish it. Uh whoops, did I get lost in there? Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, there we um, go. I still gotta polish it, but as far as the work work done, it's done. Um if you look at the back of it, it's got the twin turbo. Uh, we I cut love the that back motor, out. Though. Yeah, the motor is a uh, I'm the Iceman three Iceman collections three D. Yeah. You've got them. That's where I got that one from. You'll uh, see his tail, logo right here. There it is. Talking the whale tail yourself. came off of a Porsche <laughs> in uh, Porsche racing kit. Uh, but my probably my favorite part. Well, I was, actually the wheels came off of. You remember those old Indy cars that ANT came out with? Uh, probably in the 90s yeah it, those yeah. wheels are off of that and the center caps are the uh stock tamiya uh center caps the uh wide body kit is a black box wide body kit i'm trying to there we go 
uh, trying a uh, wide body kit from Black Box. I got it off of uh, probably eBay. Uh, Iceman doesn't offer it, or he didn't at the time. Yeah. But my favorite part is that color, man. I was really, really happy with that color. That's a wild cherry. House of Colors, wild cherry. Yeah, I love uh, that color. From, yeah, I got it from my other sponsor, ScaleFinishes.com. Go to ScaleFinishes.com for all your painting needs. Yep. But, uh, yeah, like, it, uh, it came out pretty right good, there. man. We're really happy with it. Yeah, I remember when you first started it, I was look, looking at that motor. I'm like, holy crap, man, that thing is sick. Yeah, it's a really, really cool motor. We, yeah. um, the only thing that I think that I did to it, that, yeah, the only really custom thing outside of the paint, obviously, but the only custom thing I did to it was put the wires on it. Other than that, it's, uh, you know, just like you would get it to 3D printed motor. Uh, I know a couple guys offer it, but I get it from Iceman, obviously, because he's one of my yeah. one of my sponsors. But it's a uh, detailed yeah, really engine. With... Do what? It's a detailed engine. Yeah, very detailed yeah. engine with the twin turbos. And uh, what was really cool about it? Uh, obviously, it's a glue together motor, but you can put it together, assemble the motor with no glue, and get an idea if you're not familiar with it. Because I'm not all that familiar with Volkswagens, and I wasn't sure how it went together. Yeah. But it's the way it, it fits so good together that you can put it together for mock-up without using any glue. It'll go together. You can pop it in place and put okay. everything where it needs to be and uh, get cool. an idea in your head what, what what's going on with it. Yeah. I had uh I have I have talked to Joel uh God, it's probably been maybe four or five months. I want to get him on the show too. And Super just awesome. with everything going on and you know, it's just it's crazy. You know, you know he's busy. Uh he's yeah. got a lot going on. You got a lot going on. You know, yeah. that's life. Unfortunately, we all can't make our living and spend our lives working on model cars because if we could, by God, we would, wouldn't we? Yeah, I know I would if I could. That's what we all want to do. <laughs> that's exactly right. Just work on models exactly. all day. <laughs> uh, uh so what's just, just I went ahead and pulled the body off so maybe you can get a better look at that motor. Try to get it in there. Oh, for yeah, you. yeah, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Now you can see it real good. Uh, yeah yeah we're proud of this one super proud of this one we we were talking off camera about the interior yeah uh that's that's the uh uh scale motorsports uh interior they call it the european plaid but yeah oh super, that's the decals that's the decals yeah that's on the seats the plaid looking uh, i'm trying to get it in the camera there we go yeah the, the seats are custom but uh or say custom with 3d printed, oh yeah okay yeah yep. pretty cool stuff I liked them. Had good luck with those. The uh, wide body kit too. If anybody's interested in it, the wide, the black box wide body kit comes with the uh, pieces to lower it. It's basically an offset hub, so you glue the the new hub in place over top of the old hub, and it just kind of picks everything up a little bit. So it's pretty cool. Uh, okay, once you get right. it, once you get it on there, you really can't even tell. You know, by the time the wheel goes on and get it all tucked up in there, you can't even tell that it, you know, it's offset. So it looks yeah, pretty good. Yeah uh all right so let's let's talk about um i just i just remembered it so okay uh some of your new stash ads <laughs> <laughs> you, the ones i just got yeah actually yeah, today's yeah. yeah i got them yesterday yeah so like i said earlier i i own a jeep shop and and build jeeps and off road for a living and my phone's beeping in but um buddy of mine calls me and says a buddy of his is going to call me uh, a buddy of his, a buddy of a buddy of a buddy, has a Jeep that's broke down, and he's got some old model kits that he wants to, you know, maybe trade out or get rid of. I'm like, well, yeah. I'm always interested in old model kits, you know. So I call the guy directly, and I'm like, hey, what you got? He's like, oh, he's telling me about his Jeep. And I'm like, okay, no big deal. Yep, yep, no big deal. Just a heater core. Okay, we can do that. I said, so you got some model kits? He said, yeah, I got some kits that I've been carrying around since the late 60s, early 70s. Well, that kind of got my attention. And then he said, they're old Johan kits. I said, where do you live? I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I ended up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and he was a little more savvy. He was nobody's dummy for sure. But I ended up with a sealed, the Pinto, uh, yeah. drag racing Pinto, a sealed uh, Scrambler, the, the AMC Scrambler, a sealed Comet, the yellow and blue Comet. Yeah. A sealed... Um, Richard Pettycar, Superbird, and the sealed Sox and Martin Superbird. And then uh, four other kits that were open, the, the drag racing must 
Mustang that actually came with two bodies, the 69 Roadrunner. Uh, and then I forget now what else it was. Let me look on my shelf. I'm forgetting something, I'm sure. A Mustang Roadrunner. And two more of them over there. But anyway, got all of those. And the guy was like, listen, I'm not trying to make a mint on them. I'm like, all right, you know, what's what's a fair number? And uh, we'll just say it was less than $150 for all nine of those kits. And yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> and he, then an awesome he proceeds. Deal. Yeah, it was a really good deal. And then he proceeds to tell me, because we're in his garage. Now, mind you, I don't live in a big city. I live in Ocala, Florida. But he's living in a two-story house in Florida, which is rare because the ground down here isn't sturdy enough to hold two levels right most most every house is a single level house yeah so he's got a two-story house and a big old garage and he lives in downtown the man's doing all right for himself and he said well we were in the garage and he was like well i'll have to take you up to the big house one day and let you see the that's where i keep all my good stuff and i'm like <laughs> if nine johan kits are not your good stuff i need yeah. to make my way up to the big house <laughs> yeah 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 uh, he's got a really super nice guy and he's just an old, you know, he's an old builder like we are. He just, he just yeah. didn't, uh, they ain't got no room for him or he's doing other stuff. And I get a lot of that down here. I live in a, you know, my, where I live is just north of one of the biggest retirement communities in the country. Uh, Naples? It's called the Villages. Villages. Oh, okay. The All Villages. Right. Is, it's, it's almost its own city. You could literally, and not to go on a rabbit hole with them, but you could literally be born in the villages, go all the way through school in the villages, go to college in the villages, get a job in the villages, retire in the villages, die in the villages, and never actually have to leave the villages. They got hospitals, they got schools, Jeez. they got everything inside of this, this community. Um, Do they have uh, anyway, it, uh, good hobby shops? No, that's one thing they don't have. They don't have well, good hobby, got a hobby shop. shop. Yeah. They don't have a hobby shop. Um, they've got, we've got one hobby shop in our, in our area and he's probably about 10 miles from me. Uh, I've often not thought about starting, it's not too bad. No, I've often thought about starting another one, but most of the retiree guys that are staying in it are, are aircraft, a lot of military and aircraft guys. Cause yeah. you're talking about guys that were, you know, Vietnam, World War II. Those are kind of the guys yeah. that are retiring. But, yeah. uh, we got some car guys and that's why I started to tell you, I told you that to tell you this, we belong to a club here an IPMS club and we'll get an email or get a call from somebody that's either passed on or has gotten so old they can't do it anymore and they'll be selling off some of their kits really cheap yeah I'm a NASCAR guy I love NASCAR stuff I've got entirely too many NASCAR models but I also buy them because I like to build <laughs> dirt car models out of them yeah uh, and I get a lot I get a lot of those guys that'll call me and say hey man I got this collection and I just you know buy one or buy them all you know yeah, I bought sixty. I bought sixty models one time for like a hundred bucks. They were all in the boxes. Jeez. Maybe some of them, some of them were, but they're all NASCAR, so it's not the most sought after kits in the world. But right, you can but they're fun to for build. something. Yeah, so, they're fun to build. Right. Before we take a quick commercial break here, uh, mm -hmm. actually, it's one of my commercials this time. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, have you built any of the new Silvino JR NASCARs yet? I have not built one. I have okay. a bunch of them. But I have, and I'm a kid of the month member, but I haven't built one yet. I, I really want okay. to, but uh, signed on with you know with Cliff's build, and I've got a consignment build for a tank, and I've never built a tank in my life. And this guy's a friend of mine, and he wants to pay me to build a tank, so I'm excited about doing that. But I, they are on my list. I have this this whole row. I've got a bunch of them up there, and uh, I'm excited about building one. I've opened one up and looked at them, and it's a lot of it is the molds from Monogram or wherever, but. They, the stickers are the decals. I should say are yeah. way better than the, the yeah. old school stuff. Uh, have Hemp you built one? Those. I haven't yeah, built one. I, I have. Them. I have a couple of them. I have an older seventy six Petty, and okay. then I got uh, Joy Logano's NASCAR. Oh, the That's the only two that I have. But I have a modified that I want to build. And <clears> I don't know if you've <throat> seen Fred Henry's. Yes, he just that's where, yeah, yeah, he's got he's sick. doing one I've been watching. Yeah, he's doing that red one. He's doing yeah. a hell of a job. But those are the West's uh, model car corn. Yeah, I've got I've got yeah. all the West's modifieds. Um, I'm a dirt car. I mean, those are asphalt cars, but I'm a dirt car guy from way back. Yeah. My older brother races you know in the Northeast up there in Vermont. Races around uh, was it Saratoga and uh, Malta and uh, there's a couple racetracks that he goes to up there. Uh, races Saratoga, 
Saratoga I Wires. Think I think it, I think it's the Saratoga Speedway. Is that right? In New York, called Malta in New York. Yep. Yeah. Oh no, kidding. He races at, yeah, he places at a place. He's out of Vermont, so he's just just over a line over there. Uh, there's Malta, and then there's another one that he races at up there. I can't think of the name of hmm. it, but and he races at Devil's Bowl there in Fairhaven, Vermont. But he races the whole Northeast, the Maple Leaf Circuit or whatever they call it. And he comes down here. Uh, he's actually, I mean, chasing rabbits again, but he's actually on the dirt, uh, was that dirt modified video game and his, his car oh, and him. Are, uh, yeah. He's in there on that. It's pretty cool. <laughs> That's cool. But all right. So I can uh, rebuild some of them. Yeah. We'll take a quick commercial break here, guys. And then we'll, we'll be right back with Mike from scale model. Outlaw. Check out gallery airbrushes and accessories. Click on the link below to go check out the gallery website for all of your airbrushing needs. Okay, guys, we are back. We took a little bit longer than we expected uh, talking and stuff, but uh, we do have a buddy build going to be coming up, and it's going to be the... Wes's Model Car Corner Modified. Yep. I'm psyched to build that, though. <laughs> That'd be fun. I've been, I've been wanting to do one. I just haven't got it yeah. done, and now I've got it. Now I've got a reason and an excuse to pull it out. We'll yeah. finish up the uh, bike build for uh, Cliff over there at GI Mechanics and, and Jamie G., Get that one filled up. That'll be my next one to pull it down off. Pull it down off the shelf from you, and I can get started yep. on. That'll be cool. Yeah, we'll do some videos uh, there. Because you know, Ed and I right now are doing the buddy build on the Cobra four twenty seven kits. Yeah, I so, saw that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna. But be we can awesome. blame we can we can blame the modified idea on Fred Henry. He just got his done. And close yeah, to done. It, I think he did get it done. He did an he amazing did. job on his. Oh, it looks sick. really good. It is sick. That's why I brought it up because I was like, "Oh man, it, that thing was so sick, man!" It is very cool, very cool. Yeah, you know, we were talking about the herd hobby ones too. Those are really nice. Yeah, whole another level, but really nice. Yep. Yeah, I gotta look into those because I've I've heard Check of them. them. Out. Yeah, herdhobbies.com. They, they and you can buy individual pieces from them too. That's what I do a lot of stuff. You know, buy a lot. I say a lot. You know, I buy some yeah. stuff from them, <laughs> yeah. and uh, yeah. you can use like their front ends on on something different. You know, like the fifty four. I use the uh, uh, Iceman Collections front arm setup, but yeah, you, know, you can swap it over. Super detailed yeah. rack and pinion steering, and yeah, Ice Iceman Man's gonna be, he's going to be right in there. So. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, that's right. cool. So, so we're well, Manny, uh, let me uh let me say thank you for having me on. We appreciate it, my friend. We know it took Not us a little problem. while to get it together, but uh it's been awesome, been real, been fun. Yep. And we'll thank get you, you for on having again. Me on. We'll get Absolutely. you on again and maybe we'll try to do like a Zoom uh meeting, get like five or six people in here to kind of that would be really cool. That'd be really I mean? cool. I'd be down. That'd be like yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Be almost like be almost like one of the lives from back in the day. Be almost yeah, like a live, yeah. everybody up there talking on top of each other, and yeah, nobody yeah, can yeah. hear what the other one's saying. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. All right, Mike, thanks cool, for man. coming on, and uh, thank make you. sure you go check out Mike's sponsors, Ice Man Collections, right there, and, and scalefinishes.com. Scalefinishes.com, right there. So, and gallery, of course, right there. Uh, yep, definitely. Got oh, did I tell you? I did get. I finally got my swallowtail. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got the swallowtail with the fan. Finally got it. Nice. They, they, yeah, we'll talk about reason. that. We'll talk about yeah. that in a minute when we get off here. But thanks, yeah. everybody, for watching. Thanks, Mike. And we'll be back. Sure.